Oh yeah, this is Craig Metrich for VideoCelebrityNews.com on a Friday in Cape Town, South Africa. And I've got a good bunch of people to share their stories on entrepreneurship with you today. With no further ado, I want to introduce Chris. That's the guy in the middle. All right. Uh, apparently, he's the one with the brains, not the brawn. Okay. And then I've got Mithi, who I've known for many years. Um, he's the guy with the, the skills, should I say? The sales, the the sales making background. Yes, that's right, Craig. Right. So, what is this all about? This is to share the good news and the positivity around entrepreneurship. I'm at their facility today. Their brand is Southeaster. They've got a great brand, and we're going to share with you their journey or what it took to take on some of the global brands, which I'm sure is their aspiration, in being able to deliver the kiting community with a local Islaka produced product. Let's go, Chris. So in the beginning, I mean, who in their right mind decides to go from using sailing, kiting, ocean, to get into the complexity of making something like kites? Yeah, okay. Yeah, was it beers? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Too many beers on the Prince Convinsky. Uh, the, the debrief eh, at the, the bar afterwards. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> certainly, yeah. I think it all stems from a passion of water sports and uh, being out in the ocean. And uh, a desire to, to share that with more and more people. Because what we've noticed is a trend of the industry just becoming unaffordable uh, to, for new entrants into the sport. So we thought uh, perhaps there's a gap if we produced a locally made brand with uh, all the international um, suppliers. Uh, so you've got, so you got to import here as well, eh? I mean, you're clever enough to get it international himself. Yeah. <laughs> so Nikki, come in here and explain, what do you do? What is your role? My role is I am the, I'm the head sale maker, if you want to call it. I'm, I have over 25 years of experience in the, in the sail making world. And I'm a passionate kite. I just came to Cape Town to windsurf. Listen, he's kite. passionate full stop. I mean, this is the guy, but on the water, I'm pretty noisy, as you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's the only other guy that would go, woo, Craig, you know, like. And have you brought that passion to the kiting side as well? Absolutely, absolutely. Wow. We are on the, on the water every single day, just home from the loft, on the water, testing, testing kites. equipment. It's kind of, you know, uh, it's a FUBU product, you know what that is? No, tell me. That is want, for want us, to... by us. You know, wow. I want to make the best kites for myself, for my friends, and in a way so that people can afford it. And Cape Town is the place in the world where we can produce the best kite. And well, nobody... look, I mean, to come in there, we've got the, some of the most spectacular conditions in the world. I mean, if yeah. you look at the Red Bull, King of yeah. the Air, okay, I was there, I did some live vlogging from there as well. I mean, the camaraderie, the vibe, the spirit, um, the spectators, eh? there's a lot of people that have never, like, they may be considering karting, but if you look, ladies, men, there's so many people that can do the sport, not just at a professional level, you can go do it on a lake, there's foiling, so the sport yeah. truly is dynamic. Eh? Chris, let's talk about the business stuff as an entrepreneur. You guys have got amazing facilities, we'll do a walkthrough just now. What were some of the, let's start with the challenges in the beginning. What are the type of skills you had to bring to the party to make this happen? I mean, how big are your facilities here? I mean, yeah, it's massive. We've got 1,200 meters uh, okay. back, so it's a, it's a big facility. Um, part of the challenges, I think I see myself as a conductor and trying to get everyone in harmony. Uh, I think that's the... I like it, he's a conductor of an orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> and if you've got Mickey in the orchestra, you, you, you've got something like me. Absolutely. High yeah. <laughs> energy. He's a double pass. Yeah. Look, Olaf was also going to join us. He might join us a little bit later. He's in an international meeting at the moment. So he might walk in later. So just talk, what is his role? What does Olaf do uh, so, as far as contribute? So Olaf's very strong technically. Uh, he comes from a professional background, professional uh, windsurfing background and kite surfing, so he brings a, a technical side. Very he also, he also understands retail. I mean, I've known him for many years, yes. and uh, you know, we can mention his dad as well. His dad's been a great mentor to him and in the industry, and they've both been very hands-on. You know, when we run competitions, anything, be it karting, windsurfing, the water sports, they're very hands-on. I think the attention to detail is what uh, he truly brings ah, to, like to the table. like attention to detail. Uh, Mickey, your side, what were some of the challenges? My audience are business people, so they're watching this, they want to be inspired around how do you get through the business challenges. What did you find in the beginning? 
importing materials? Importing, yeah. importing material is very, very important. We only use the best. So yeah. to get them into South Africa. To get them on board, to, to take us as, a, as a, you know, that we are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah especially you want in the beginning, they say, well, what do you want to do in Cape Town? We've already got product, mm -hmm. really, like, as an example. So to convince them. Uh, so both of you, how, is negotiation skills vital in your jobs? Absolutely. No, no question. No, no question. I was just thinking, and negotiating at different levels. And a strong mm. belief in what you do. And to portray that, bring that across and uh, convince people that we are the real deal and we have to stay. Yeah. Uh, yes. And no, if, okay. if your product can withstand the Southeaster. You can no, stay everything. <laughs> Especially the, you know, this season we've had some amazing ultra strong conditions, stormy conditions. Listen, just shouts out. I see we've got Heinz Hoffman online. Heinz, thank you very much. Thumbs up to you. Give us a love and a like if the sound is good. <laughs> Give us a love and a like if the signal's good. Remember, this is live. Thank you. I see the signal's up. Oh, thanks, right, Heinz. gents. Uh, so just let's yeah. talk a little bit more on the business side. The next thing I want to get at, what is the type of attitude you guys have got as a team to be able to get a production facility going. All right, so what type of attitude do you have there? That's the question, what type of attitude? Quality, quality is number one. Yeah. Absolutely no compromises. So attention to detail, quality, uh, an obsessive attitude, am I right? You're gonna be obsessed Absolutely. about getting things right. Absolutely, yeah. you know, it's long, long nights in the loft yeah. to get the small little details. Yes, we can't, um, we can't compete with China, so we have to offer something a bit different, and we can do that. Well, we can compete in China yeah. on air quality. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one of the places we can. I think yeah. the air quality is better, yeah, yeah. thanks to the Southeast. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. In, in, well, in terms of costing, so yes. uh, we have to offer a better product. Yeah. All wrong, yeah. So, uh, that's what we bring. So an analogy wise is I see you guys being the, I don't want to say boutique or niche, but I, what you want to be proud of is like the handmade, am I, am I saying the right type of thing? It's a, it's a hand, it's yeah. a handmade close to a custom made bespoke product. Bespoke product, I it love is that. A, it, is well a, it is a bespoke product because I'm seeing these people on the water using our cards every single day. Yeah, yeah. And they must work 100%. It must fly perfect. Um, a kite can't fall apart all of a sudden in the middle of Table Bay. No, no you can't. Not making no, no, friends no, no, with no, no, the NSRI. No, no. your, yes. your next stop is the South Pole. Not yeah, the, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Craig, let's show your audience uh, what yeah, so it is. Let's, let's just take this mic off. I'm going to control the mic. If you... Right, so let's do a walkthrough and let's just show the kite because we haven't mentioned Look, understanding this is a biography, we're not trying to do an ad for you guys. We're trying to actually share with you what does it take. So, okay, Mickey, just See, for example, talk about construction. Give you, give yeah, you, uh, give us a rundown of what it takes to build something like all, this. All the, all the seams must be 100% right. If you see that here where the kite gets its profile, the seam, if there's one stitch out, wrong, yeah. you can forget the product. You will put a uh, 22,000 grand worth of product in the pin. You cannot risk it. So the tolerances, in other words, the tolerances, my linger, the tolerances are uh, very, 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 very uh, precise. They're not, they're not yeah. It's like building, building an aeroplane. Yeah, get building it. And building, yeah. building an aeroplane, um, something happens, nobody will buy the product. We won't, we won't have to do it. So what we do, we build a heavy duty kind, which means all, all the reinforcements are sold onto the cut and not the, the cloth doesn't end here and it becomes a becomes a policy. When you when you look at our our reinforcements, they have an extra let me just get that in. There we go. They, they've got an extra layer in the back who makes the kite extra heavy duty and it steers much quicker for our wave conditions. It must be a quick So, so to come in the, the technicalities around design, what I'm understanding is if I was designing a glider or microlight or a paraglider, your lingo is very similar to what they would say as far as you know the tolerances, the precision, the yes. material, yes, yes, yes. you know, the durability. What about safety? I wanna uh, you know if I'm a beginner and I'm looking at this I'm going, okay this is cool. These guys love what they're doing. What are the safety elements that you've got to build into the design? Like, you know, relaunching is an example. The, the relaunch, a kite must get out of the water before the next wave hits you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it's a good, it's that, a good benchmark. That, that can be, that can be um, uh, in, a, in, a, in a minute, in yeah. a couple, in a couple yeah. of seconds. Yeah. If, you get, if you get washed by a wave, yes. the thing must be alive Correct. on the other side. So what we do, for example, because when, right. when you see Hot here... Come round, with me. The good thing with life 
If the signal's good, I need a love, a like and a thumbs up. All right, bear with me as far as lighting as well. We, we reinforce our, our, our struts. This, 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 this lower part of the car, all the, all the way through. Then you can see the, you can see the extra cloth in the, in the back. In here is a special low stretch material that is three times stronger than steel. So that your height will not come apart. Even Amazing. if you rip it in two pieces, yeah. you still be, will be able to um, sail home. On top of that, it gives it a nice aerodynamic leech. That's the back part. That's okay. the back part of the car. So the so technicalities, just to come in there, if you can walk with me, I want to go through to the actual production facilities. If you can hold that, okay. Chris, if you can join us. So we're going to head now towards the production facility, right? Just to show the reality of what it takes as entrepreneurs to get into a business like this. Because that's really what I wanted to highlight. So if we can just show them through here, just to show them oh, the yes. whole floor, right? Let's just show them the whole floor. There we go. That's the floor that you can see. It's, we got our long tables. Okay, let's walk through there. Just hold the mic close to you as well. Okay, Chris, you join us. Join us, join us. We're going to go out of lighting. Okay, so Michi, let me coach you on this while we're vlogging. Yeah. Keep us in frame, Chris, stay in frame, and worry about lighting. That's what we all forget about. <laughs> right, we're all live, ladies and gentlemen. We're now going to head to you. This is Craig Metrics for Video Celebrity News. We're celebrating entrepreneurship in a production facility. It's about building kites in Cape Town, South Africa. I've got Chris with me. I've got Michi with me. All of my join us just now. And uh, it's also about job creation. So check out the amazing facilities. Guys, let's do a 360. Let's stay in the spot. Yeah. And let's just walk around. There we go. Chris is in. Chris, you better look in than us. I don't even know why yes, you're hiding exactly. from the camera. If I was as young as you, but I would be in front of this camera the whole time. I mean, short uh, yes. All right. Let's just get some of the kit in here. And if Mickey, you can direct us. I'll hold this. Here, right. So what is this all about? What you, what you see around here, we've got long, long tables. So I'll... Kites are in, in, in general between, you know, between 5 and 18, 18 to 20 square meters thick. So they're all cut out in, in bits. Every single seam is glued together and then, and then sewn together. So you have to have a nice flow. You have to be able to lay it down flat, glue it together, then it goes to the sewing station. So to come in there, the infrastructure then to actually start something like this, you can't just decide, okay, we want to build kites. I mean, you need a massive square meter each facility. Yes. Correct. You need a pretty hygienic facility, you know, like dust free, you know, to a point. Absolutely clinical. Yeah. Clinical Absolutely facility. Clinical. These kites slide along on the tables all around. So they are spotless. Yeah. Yeah. You know? If all right. This comes set. in with a kite repair yeah. full of sand. Show that door. <laughs> Did you hear that, eh? Straight not, away. <laughs> if it's not, if it's not clean, 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 clean. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense for the facility to be able to, to produce. Especially, do you guys do like things like repairs and things like that? Is that absolutely. Big, big part of absolutely, absolutely, right. absolutely. It's also um, a big part of our of our service. If something happens, yes. the guy drops the car in the parking lot. So that's, the, the so, so that's the quality assurance, eh? Huh? and out. Can we can do an overnight she can be up and hatching the next day. Um, that's the beauty of being, being uh, locally, having a local presence and having this facility. Okay, so one of the local benefits, let's just walk together. Guys, you can follow me. I want to get into lighting as well. Let me get us, I want to get the facilities into the background. There, it's at the back in frame. I love it. Yeah, yeah you guys are great. Too. <laughs> okay, so let's just summarize now. I want to summarize the key elements. Thinking about entrepreneurship, and we started with some of the challenges. What are the highs so far? What's been one of the highs? What, what has been like, wow, you know, as a team, this has been worth it? Being associated with such a wonderful team, uh, yeah. I think one of the highs is certainly our staff at the back, 70% uh, unemployed before they joined us. Um, so that for us is a, a personal high. And yeah, the, the, so the job creation, hey? we all need that. Hey? Yeah. And uh, seeing, our, seeing our products online and uh, also doing very well. Uh, on the circuit. And also, I was at the downward dash. How, how about seeing your product at an event like that? Mm. How did that feel? Yeah, phenomenal. <laughs> it, it's, uh, it's a couple of years of hard work to get there, and we delighted with the end result. Um, it's not where we're finishing, but uh, certainly a good starting point. And then for it's, you as well, what is the, what's the high about doing this, getting I together? What gets you up to, every morning? I have to agree to look forward to come here to work together with a extremely nice, highly motivated team. 
everybody yeah. from Chris in the finances, yeah. Olaf also on the technical side with the with the designing to put the whole facility together. But got this idea in your head of the ideal yeah. Yeah. kite for Cape Town, and you just you start off the first kite looks alright, right, right, but right. then finally you, you have it over time. Yeah, yeah, finally you have a you have a kite you can. I've never flown so, anything so it's like this. It's like euphoria, euphoria. You've actually, it's like, the test, it's like the test pilot that comes it's down and says, that plane's right. That that's yeah. it. That's, that's it. Great. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. You can't help but enjoy a job where you have to go to the beach every afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the notes I'm going to summarize on because I can't beat that. This is Craig Metrich. I've got Chris with me and Mickey. Uh, Olaf hasn't been able to join us. We are uh, at South Easter. It's Cape Town, as local as Lacquer. They're producing kites locally. Why? Price obviously is a good thing. They can give a price differentiator. Quality, they're pedantic in quality. So a shout out to them. Support them. Local businesses need to be supported. Why? For empowerment. Not only that, for job creation. And also, you know, it would be great. Here's my shout out. How about this? Seeing you guys win. Somebody, somebody in one of your kites win a major world championship. Absolutely. Why not, eh? Absolutely. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. <laughs> right, this is a wrap. Craig Metrich for Video Celebrity News. Share the good news. Share the love. Share the positivity. Just get high. <laughs>